Coming up, uh, we're talking a little bit of weather here. Boy, Sunday was great. Monday was great. It's safe. Let's keep it going. I know. <laughs> Almost <laughs> as great as that. Read the prompter then. <laughs> <laughs> weather comes before sports. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you, my, you said good save and then you ruined it. So. So. Yes, yeah, so we had some great <laughs> weather here these last couple of days. And I think that the uh, beautiful trend will continue here for the rest of tonight and maybe even into early tomorrow. But things are going to take a turn for the more active as we move forward. Live pictures right now. Gorgeous live pictures from our Eldridge Roofing River Cam. Our temperatures have made their way up in the middle and upper 70s here today, even flirting with 80 once again. Uh, 77, the high temperature in Rockford, which is where we stand right now. You'll note that the atmosphere is very, very dry with dew points in the 30s in most spots. Again, this one kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Think that there's got to be some sort of instrumentation air up there at the uh, Janesville Airport. Nonetheless, temperatures a handful of degrees cooler than where we were yesterday at this time. And we've got one thing and one thing only to thank the direction from which our wind is blowing out of the north or the east here. Uh, that is naturally a cooler airflow, but by no means this go around is it a cold airflow whatsoever. While we have enjoyed some gorgeous conditions here Saturday, Sunday and again here today, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night we are gearing up for the possibility, if not the likelihood of a couple rounds of storms. I do think that there is a severe weather threat, especially in the afternoon hours. Let's say from around this time until about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow night, during which time all modes of severe weather will be in play. There's no concern right now. That's the good news, and you don't see a whole lot of anything right now showing up on the satellite and radar picture. Clouds are advancing to the south and west, and eventually some of that cloud cover does work in here by the early stages of our Tuesday morning. There you see it. Uh, it could bring with it a sprinkle or two. Then as a warm front lifts through the area later tomorrow morning, there could be a brief shower or thunderstorm. These will be isolated. If we are to get any uh, thunder or lightning out of this, uh, some hail may accompany these thunderstorms, but the severe weather risk with this initial batch looks to be quite low. Here's where things get interesting. Do we break into sunshine for a time during the afternoon? If the answer to that uh, question is yes, atmosphere becomes really unstable and prime for severe weather development. If we stay under clouds all afternoon, severe threat goes way down. Here we are 430. We get an, an initial round of showers and thunderstorms to develop and then they quickly race through the area should be gone here by about 10 11 o'clock here tomorrow night. A few of those may linger into the early stages of Wednesday. As it stands right now, the entire area under a level two slight risk with the greater risk off to the west. What does a slight risk mean? It means that storms will be scattered, at least from a severe weather standpoint, generally short lived, isolated intensity. They could produce one or two tornadoes up to golf ball size hail as well as wind damage. If, however, we get upgraded to a level three, that's the uh, real uh, risk area. That's where things get real concerning, where you talk about a few intense tornadoes tornadoes, multiple tornadoes and several reports of wind damage. As I see it right now, I think hail and flooding downpours will be the main severe weather threat, but tornadoes and hail cannot be ruled out either. A couple of showers may linger into the early stages of Wednesday, then mostly cloudy skies the rest of the way and things should remain quiet for the rest of the middle of the week. We're back up into the low to mid 70s tomorrow. I think 71 is where we'll ultimately end up. 68 will be our high temperature for our Wednesday, then 64 on Thursday. Finally, some quieter conditions as we get into Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But uh, compared to this past weekend, this weekend looks to be a cooler one with highs in the 50s. But eyes to the skies tomorrow, especially around this time to around our 10 o'clock broadcast tomorrow night. Cooler week? You mean all weekends can't be like this last week? Oh, <laughs> I know. Wasn't oh, it something? That'd be it nice. Was. All right. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Coming up in sports, just.